You live here, I live here, everybody lives here for now. But in 500 million years, the gradual heating of the sun will burn away all life on Earth. And then we might have to move. And even if we get past the 500 million year deadline, the sun will die as a red giant in about 5 billion years. So let's review our options. We could die or we could move the Earth. Just like any other mad science scheme, there are a hundred ways to skin this cat. We could launch powerful rockets off the Earth, which would push the Earth a little bit in the opposite direction. We could build a giant teleporter and disassemble the Earth atom by atom into a new location. We could repeatedly smash things into the Earth, eventually knocking it off orbit, perhaps also changing its axis and or rotation. We could paint half the Earth silver, stop it rotating, and let the sun push it away. We could dig a giant hole down to the core and repeatedly detonate warheads inside the Earth, forcing molten material to fly off into space, propelling us forwards like a deflating balloon. Sure, maybe that all does sound a little crazy. We could build a gravity tug and slowly pull the Earth away from the sun. What's a gravity tug, you asked? I'm so glad you asked. Well, you could build a solar sail with a huge mass connected to it. This gigantic weight would want to fall towards the Earth, and the Earth slowly drifts towards the weight. The solar sail is being pushed away by the Sun, dragging both the weight and, as a result, the Earth along with it. This would take a very, very, very long time. So here's the best idea scientists have come up with so far. Gravity assists. Attach rockets to an asteroid, comet, or Kuiper Belt object and have it fall on a trajectory that takes it close to the Earth. The Earth and this space rock would exchange a little momentum. The rock slows down a bit and goes into a new orbit, and the Earth speeds up a little, and that additional momentum pushes our orbit up a tiny little bit. And now we're further away from the Sun. You need to do this tens of thousands or even a million times. Now you might think, hey, that's crazy. Where do you get all this stuff to hurl past the Earth? Well, don't worry. The Oort cloud alone has billions of objects with a mass of 30 times the mass of the Earth. So to prepare for Roastpocalypse, if we started now, we should cause a close pass with a large object every few thousand years. We bring them within 10,000 kilometers of the surface of the Earth, which would have the likely side effect of causing severe tides and storms. Oh, and if you get the math wrong, you'll smash an asteroid into the Earth. Just so you know, these would be way bigger than the object that killed the dinosaurs. One hit from a 100 kilometer diameter object would sterilize the biosphere. So if we push the Earth out to about 1.5 times its current orbit, which might get a little too cozy with Mars for comfort, we give the Earth another 5 billion years of habitability. Then the Sun turns into a red giant and then dies as a white dwarf. And nothing can help us then, except perhaps some kind of planet-sized stargate. So what do you think? What's the best suggestion you've got to move the Earth out to a safe distance? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. We couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Sherry McBee and the many others who join us to help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. So like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes, as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. We could launch powerful rockets or we could die, we could build a giant teleporter, or we could repeatedly smash things into the Earth. We could paint half the Earth silver, we could dig a giant hole, we could build a gravity tug, or we could die. Where do you get all this stuff to hurl past the Earth? I'm so glad you asked. A giant teleporter. Oh, and if you get the math wrong, we could die, then the sun turns into a red giant and then dies as a white dwarf and nothing can help us then, 